Hey everybody, it's you here again. If you ever wanted to make a 360 video and not the normal ones that you see everybody having, just a one static photo or one, st one static video clip, but you want to have a 360 video where you can put multiple 360 videos together to make one, stand by. Because I got probably the easiest way I've found so far. A lot of people have had issues trying to load up 360 videos and they just get frustrated, don't upload them, whatever. Or they want you to download all these programs or purchase all these programs. And like some of the videos that I've seen, people are like, oh, click on my affiliate link. I make money off of it, but it doesn't cost you a penny. Well, yeah, I make no money off of nothing that I produce here. So I do this to try to help anybody else out. So let's jump right into this so I can show you how I do it my easy way. All right, if you go to YouTube help and you just type in upload 360 videos, it'll, have, it'll, it'll tell you here, basically there's three easy steps. Step one, create the video. Now, of course, if you have a 360 camera, that's easy to do. Creating them, it's just hitting a button, hitting record. Boom. Now, if, you're, if you actually read this, it says to use an editing software to ensure sequence settings are in VR and match your source footage. Most people are not going to know what that means. But we'll get to that in just a second, because that's part of step two. To upload a 180 or 360 video, you need to modify the file with an app like Adobe Premiere. I don't know about y'all, but Adobe Premiere is kind of 20 to 39 bucks. I mean, you might be able to find a little bit better prices, or you can use Photoshop for 600 bucks. Adobe Premiere came out 16 years ago, but their stable release is two months ago. Yeah, I'm I'll pass on that. What I like to use called Filmora. Uh, a lot of a lot of you are familiar with this. You've seen the commercials, all that kind of stuff. You can do 360 videos even with the free version. The paid version, it's just I mean, it's not it's not very much money, but the free version is what we're going to aim for here. It's very simple to do it. First step. Make your make your videos, your, in, your individual videos. Put them, put them in a folder where you can find them. You're gonna go to Filmora, click on Media, click on Import, Import Media Files. Here are the 360s that we want to import. We're just gonna open all of them up. Oh yeah, disclaimer. Anything 360, you have to be patient with. Because unlike normal photos, which are like that, this these are spherical. These are round. It's a lot of information, especially when you're dealing with a video clip. A 360 photo, yeah, that's a little quicker. Video clips, not so quick. So, like now that they're all loaded up, all you have to do, as long as you don't click on anything, they're all the same color. This red orange color versus these two, the old ones which are blue, you just hit the plus mark on any one of them <clears throat> and it will put it down here in your timeline. It might take a second for it to catch up. And there we go. Now you'll notice in the picture here, there's me. Now I don't like that. So what you can do is just hit play until you walk away from your camera, hit pause, <clears throat> and right here on your timeline, you have the cutoff tool. Just not snip that off, delete the part that you want to get rid of, and now it'll pick it up from wherever you just snipped it from. Now I don't know if you can hear it, <clears throat> excuse me, 
but there's a lot of wind because we were out in a windy area filming. So to get rid of that, you can just right click on the video clip, hit mute, all the sounds go away. You can do that on each and every one of these. And of course, 360 videos, the video itself, yeah, I mean, they look really cool looking around, but they're kind of boring without some type of music. So if you go to the music tab, Filmora gives you a whole bunch of different uh, types of music. You can pick whatever, whatever you want. And if you like it, you can either hit the plus mark or you can drag it. Oops, push pause. Or you can just drag it down to your timeline wherever you want it to start from. It will start literally from anywhere. <clears throat> And also, instead of going from one camera view to another camera view, if you click on the video clip that you're working with, hit transitions, hit anyone, and they give you a lot of different transitions, a whole bunch of transitions to choose from. It'll go from, like once you hit it, you'll see it pop up right here. If you watch the video clip here, as it goes through, it slowly fades right off to the other one. <clears throat> nice transitions. It's better than you're in one spot, boom, you're in another spot. Once you're done editing all of your clips, cutting them down, trimming them off, getting rid of what you don't want, <clears throat> excuse me, and adding music, all you have to do is hit the export change whatever name is on there make it whatever you want to change your folder unless this is the folder that you want it to go to then hit the export now if you want to change any of the settings like resolution you can do all of that here i have found that if you leave it on best that works <laughs> literally the best so what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit, I'm going to edit this video track, add some music, put some fades in, and then I'm going to export it, and then we'll go to the next step. Alrighty. Here is the 360 video clip. If you try to open it up, right now this is what it's going to look like on YouTube it's going to be a 360 but it's going to be flat it's going to be panoramic 360 which you can't move nothing no matter what you do nothing's going to move but you do have a super wide ultimately wide angled lens but we don't want that what we want <clears throat> Because we want to make that spherical for people to be able to move the picture around, look around, and see everything that you've seen on your adventure. So, if you type in spatial media metadata injector, you're going to get the github.com. Click on this first one that is releases. All you have to do is click on that. Once you get to this screen, you scroll down all the way down here to the bottom. The 360 video metadata tool is for Windows. If you're, if you're a Mac user, you would use this one. Windows, you'd use this one. All you have to do is click on it. It'll open up. It'll automatically download for Macs. I don't know what it does. But once you do that, you simply open it, and you're going to get this right here is the application double click on that what that will do and you can save this too is this is very very handy for anybody doing 360 you're going to get this little box here with this box here once you hit open it's going to make you look for the folder this cape may 360 
All you have to do is double click on that. See how it automatically checks it. And these, these you can leave these blank. Just hit inject metadata. What it'll do is it will ask you where you want to save it to. And but if you look at the name, it's already filled out. 360 Kate May, which is the same as what you called, but you typed it. But this one is injected. So you're just gonna save that. Give it a couple seconds. It's gonna do its thing up here. So successfully saved to 360 Kate May injected MP4. So now if you close all these off and you go back to your folder, here it is. So we'll open it back up in Windows. Windows uh, Media Player. That here now is the 360. You can move it all the way around you. You want to look down at the ground, you look down at the ground. If you look too far down, you see the base of the camera. And if you look too far up, you'll see where the aliens are. But as it's playing, it will eventually, once it gets to its point, there we go, it will actually fade into the next screen. And people can keep moving it, turning it all they want to. And it just goes all the way through. You have music playing, you have it fading back and forth. And there you have it. That's how you make a 360 video spherical for YouTube. And for anyone else, if you just go to your YouTube channel, upload the normal way you would, upload video. Wait for it. <laughs> Upl hit your upload. Grab the video that says injected. Now this is going to upload like to get to this point pretty quick. If you look down here at the bottom, yeah, that's going to take quite a while, especially how depending on how long your video actually is. But while you're here, you can go ahead and change this. To whatever whatever you want it to say and then you do all the rest of your stuff as you normally would which i'm going to go ahead and do this and i'm going to put a link right up here in the top uh to that th to the 360 video that i made so you can see how it actually looks just make sure if you're not in hd make sure you switch your your little gear on your screen to hd so hopefully this helps somebody out it's a lot longer than I thought it was going to be, but just so many people have difficulties, and I, I know a couple people that bought 360 cameras. They can look at it on their phone, but they can't upload nothing, so hopefully this will help them. So until the next one, y'all stay safe out there. Keep your social distancing, but keep getting outside. Get that fresh air. So until the next one.